Hi, and welcome to another episode of A Ponytail Kind of Day. Today we're going to take a regular candle and turn it into a designer candle. It's all done by printing on tissue paper. So all you do is just take regular copy paper, cut your tissue paper, maybe an inch, about an inch or so, bigger than your paper, and then just fold it like you're gift wrapping a package. And when it's all folded, you're going to tape the edges with tape. Make sure every single edge has tape on it. You don't want any loose edges. It'll jam in your printer. And that is a horrible jam. And when that's done, feed it into your printer. Make sure to check the settings, which side has to be up and what side has to be down. And you'll end up with something that looks like this. You cut out your pattern. Make sure there's a little white around your pattern because it doesn't really matter. It'll absorb into your candle. If it's a white candle, you won't even know it. So you take your candle and you put your design on it. Put your design on nice and tight. And then you take a piece of wax paper. And you put your wax paper on nice and tight. Be careful of seams because the seams will show up when you melt it. I actually secure mine with a rubber band. A lot of tutorials online say to use a blow dryer. I've used a blow dryer. It took me forever. So I use my soldering iron with a paddle attachment. And all you do is slowly glide it over the wax paper. And you'll actually see your design transfer onto the candle. It's pretty cool. And then when you get to the middle, slide your rubber band up. And then do the center. Use even strokes, gentle strokes, and that is it. Then your pattern transfer to your candle, and that's what you have. My brother's a musician, and I saw at Pottery Barn last year that they had sheet music candles. I fell in love with them. I found some vintage sheet music online in PDF format and printed it out, and I made all different sizes. I made little candles, big candles, pillars, and I gave them a whole set. And it cost me pennies, and it was just beautiful. So that's the great thing about knowing how to print on tissue paper. The sky's the limit. You can do monograms. You can do happy birthday. Um, I'm actually involved in an event next week, and we did take-home gifts for the guests. So have a good time making your candles, and actually post what you've made on my blog. I'd love to see them. You have a good day, and talk to you soon.